Good morning. This is Remax Realtor Wes Garrison again with the Garrison Brothers of Remax Town and Country. A uh, couple of things that I wanted to talk about today, and these are based on conversations that I have with real people. Um, they asked me, because I'm also a contractor as well too, thinking about painting their house. He says, what can we do to get our house ready as far as painting goes? Should we just paint the whole thing, the inside and the outside? A lot of times, mm, that's not really necessary. Um, I am going to say one thing. If you do decide to paint the whole interior, the whole exterior, make sure that you paint it a neutral color, a very, very neutral color. I mean, we all like to express our personalities. Me personally, I love really, really deep earth tones, uh, brick reds, and just very, very overpowering colors. And a lot of people, oh, well, they, just, they just don't like that. So if I, if I went to sell my house, I would certainly paint it a nice neutral tone to make it appealing to just about anybody because you want to leave it open for the imagination for anybody. You don't want to pigeonhole yourself in certain color schemes. But with all that said, if you're going to paint the whole house, what I really want to talk about is some quick tips that you can do that you don't have to paint the whole house that will actually make a world of difference. The first number one tip, paint your front door. That's the first thing people are going to see. I can't tell you how many houses I've gone to I've shown and you open up the screen door, you go up to the front door and there's cobwebs all over it or if it's stinged up or it's got a little rust on the bottom. Paint your front door. It'll take you 30 minutes, 45 minutes. You can get a small can of paint from Home Depot. Just paint it, and it makes all the difference. It gives a nice, bright, clean front door. It makes a big, big difference. Uh, another thing you can do that really stands out a lot, actually, is the baseboards. When people's baseboards are scuffed up, if they're dirty, but even if they're not really scuffed up or dirty, a lot of times they have a tendency to collect dust along the top. You don't even realize it. Wipe down the baseboards through the whole house. Give them a really good cleaning. Get those scuff marks off. And even in some areas, if you want to touch them up, you can touch them up. But the clean baseboards will make up for such a difference because the eye will actually gravitate towards that. As you walk into a room and you see this white baseboard all along the bottom about 15, 20 feet away, and it's got dirt or scuff marks on it or whatever, your eye is actually going to be attracted to that. And you're going to see more dirt on white than you are on the color on the walls. Which brings me to my last and final point. When you're doing walls, it does make a big difference to touch up the paint. Uh, most people have some of the original paint, just go through a couple of, couple of touch-ups and you're fine. Um, especially if you have really bad scuff marks or scrapes on the wall, it makes all the difference in the world to cover that up. But if you don't, <clears throat> I have contractors that I go to, I usually go to, there's a special Sherwin-Williams I go to, that they are awesome at matching paint colors. And I know little tricks that, that I can do for that, but if you don't have the original paint, you just get a little sample of the paint color off the wall and you can go and you can take it to Home Depot, you can take it to Lowe's, you can take it to any one of your local paint shops and they will match it fairly closely for you enough so that you can touch it up. And these little things will cost you next to nothing, it'll cost you 10 or $15 in paint, maybe a couple hours of your time, it makes all the difference in the world just cleaning things up. All right, well that's it. We'd love to hear from you. If there's anything at all we can do for you, we're the Garrison Brothers here at Remax Town & Country. You can look us up. We're here at 1351. Tuscaloosa Suite 101. We'd love to talk to you. Hope you're having a great week.